Alright class, I'm your substitute teacher for today. Your teacher is out sick, so I'm going to be taking over. Today you're going to be watching a video on uh, Newton's three laws of motion. Seems pretty simple. Okay class, I only have one rule when we're going to be watching this video. And absolutely no talking, no talking about anything. If you talk, you get a referral. So, uh, so let's watch the video. Excuse me teacher, can I have a pencil? Congratulations, you got yourself a free referral. The following film has been approved for all audiences. What is going on, dudes? It is Phoenix coming at you live from the backyard tree. Now, in this video, you're going to be learning about Newton's three laws of motion. Now, what is Newton's three laws of motion? Before we can answer that, we need to know what gravity is. Gravity is simply... So, as I was saying, gravity is a magical force that attracts anything and everything together. For example, a pencil to a desk, me to this tree, me to the ground, a planet to the sun, or this bandage to my arm. Now to get into Newton's first law of motion. Newton's first law of motion. Newton's first law of motion has two individual parts. The first one we are covering in this example is an object in motion will stay in motion unless a force is acted upon it. Phoenix is shown riding this strange contraption and will continue to ride along the street until a force is acted upon it. The force acted upon it in this example is the brakes, also known as friction. Friction is a resistance that one surface or object encounters while moving over another. What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. The second part of Newton's first law states an object at rest will stay at rest unless a force is acted upon it. This lovely ball right here will be stationary until a young lad kicks it as demonstrated here. Newton's second law of motion. As you can see, this toy truck is able to pull me down the driveway. How does this work? Well, Newton's second law of motion can help us find an answer. Newton's second law states that the acceleration of an object is determined by the net force of an object. Newton's second law of motion also states that acceleration is determined by the mass of the load. So what if we tried this with a lighter person? Now, because Phoenix weighs less, he's able to be pulled faster. Another example of Newton's second law of motion is Phoenix riding, uh, whatever this is. Once again, acceleration is determined by net force and mass. And as Phoenix doesn't have a very large mass, he can go really fast. Now, let's see what happens when I go on it. Whenever I go on this thing, I don't go as fast because my mass is much larger than Phoenix's. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Newton's third law of motion. Last but not least is Newton's third law of motion, which states for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. In this demonstration, Phoenix is shown jumping on a trampoline. The force acting on the trampoline is also acting back on Phoenix, as shown by his extended jump height. And finally, our last example of Newton's third law of motion, you can see force reacting with the ball and our bodies. 